Alright, welcome back everyone to another text and video. I'm finally doing another visual basic tutorial because if you remember in my moderator section in uh, my channel where you can request and submit your ideas for tutorials for me to make, uh, visual basic is pretty much the most requested idea as of now. So uh, I decided to make tutorials on visual basic. So as you can see here, I'm using visual basic 2010, the express edition, okay? So that's the free edition. So you can download it from the Microsoft website and um, uh, practice Visual Basic on your own. It's got all the tools you need, so uh, the Express Edition is good enough for you. Okay. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you uh, how to open up an external program using a button. So you can see here, I've already uh, programmed this uh, window. You can see here, and there is a button over here. Now I commanded this button to open up an image, which is in the My Documents section. It will open up this image right here. So if I click Open File it opens up the image. So now I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's just close that. Let's make a new project. Discard this. Okay, Windows Form Application. And now you should get Form 1, okay? So on the toolbox over here, you will get on the side, you're going to click on Button, and we're going to add a button to our form. Let's just change this to open file. Right. <coughs> Whoa, that was weird. <laughs> okay. Uh, now let's command this button to open up the same image that we get in my documents. <laughs> so, I can't believe I did that. So let's double click on the button. And uh, now you will get this section. And you're going to type in this code. System. I just move the cursor so you can see. System dot diagnostic diagnostics uh, dot process dot start now the reason why it's automatically coming for me because I already typed in this process before so it will have some kind of short term memory and it will figure out that I'm whether I'm gonna type that again so it's easy for me then and don't worry about these gaps over here if I just click someone else there you go this guess will be filled up we're not, not we're not done yet okay so uh, open bracket uh, speech mark and now what you're going to do is type in the directory where your file is located. So over here under the address section you will get your address. If you're on Windows Vista or Windows 7 all you have to do is right click and uh, select on copy address as text. Okay. So I'm just going to paste that forward slash. And then type in your file name. It's called wallpaper4. So Make sure you type in the extension as well. So it's a JPEG file. So speech mark, close bracket, and now you're done. So system the diagnostics the process dot start uh, open bracket speech mark type in the directory file name file extension speech mark close bracket. Okay. Once you're done, start debugging right there to test the program. If I click open file, it should open up the open up the image. Now let's take another example. Let's say I want to open up a text document. Now anything will work for this program files, text documents, any type of file will work, okay? So now let's try this text document right there. Uh, so it's called 3.txt. So let's just replace the file name with 3.txt. Okay, that was so wrong. Okay, so 3.txt, let's test it again. There you go, the file opens up. So yeah, that's about it. If you want to open up images, that works as well. So any any file will work, any type of extension will work. Um, yeah, that's about it. So hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, why subscribe for more. So thanks for watching, and have a great day.